Scudsworth Productions presents The Retronomicon here and we are getting ready to stream we are doing a uh episode that is uh the one that you're watching um we're doing katamari damasi uh, we're playing from the very beginning so uh that's what we're doing <laughs> don't really have much more to say about that <coughs> yeah the music fucking kills yes yeah. So, <clears throat> as you have probably noticed there, uh, we are doing uh, this as a charity uh, event. Uh, we didn't have time to set up the charity banners and stuff. We both work. I apologize that this is going to be a little bit weird, uh, but um, between each of uh, the little missions that we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to start our pledge uh, drive here. Uh, we are currently supporting the uh, Columbus Freedom Fund. Uh, it is a bail fund uh, for Nova's home state of Ohio, uh, trying to assist the protesters that were currently arrested um, protesting the uh, police violence across uh, North America. And so if you have money, if you were thinking about donating uh, to us so that we can, you know, afford to keep playing. Today, we ask that you instead donate to uh, our charity of choice here, the uh, Columbus Freedom Fund. So uh, we will be posting that link uh, in the uh, feed pretty consistently, letting you know where you can go. That link is to their PayPal. Uh, I have vetted it myself multiple times. I've checked multiple different sources. I am very certain it is uh, the legit thing. You don't have to worry that it is a random PayPal that you found on Twitch. I, I, I checked. I'm very confident, so you're okay. Uh, we ourselves have already donated uh, to the Columbus Freedom Fund. Mm -hmm. uh, we have made the conscious decision uh, that we are only going to uh, promote on these streams the ones that we ourselves have donated to. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you, you know, we're putting our money where our mouths are. We hope you do the same. Exactly. Uh, but we are going to try to keep things light and cheery for when we're playing. And I promise we're only going to break up uh, the fun happiness every so often to remind you what we're here for. Exactly. All right. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, ah, hello, Prince. That's his voice. <laughs> ah, hello, Prince. Uh, this is the king. Long time no see. No, I think no? he's more booming. Hello, yeah. Prince. This is the king. Long time no see. We thought today would be a good day for rolling. The Katamari, the prince. Where the first rolls, the second follows. Roll, roll, roll. For that purpose alone, we went to the bother. The bother of making this space. The king of all cosmos! <laughs> going to the bother just for rolling a katamari. Just for that. Went to, this is freaking lemon grab. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, so, we would like for you to start rolling. But, but, first things first. Does the prince like vibration? What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Meaning the moving and the shaking. 
No, no, I hate it. Playing is best. I love going on it. What? <laughs> Do you not remember this part? I've never played this game. Oh, you've never played this game? I haven't game? played this game until you and I played it, but we were playing on the save file that you were already doing. Uh, I don't remember the King of uh, Space just being like, I love raw dogging uh, the cosmos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. <laughs> Very uh, simple, simple execution. Simple, simple thing. Just gotta get your controls. Just gotta get the controls. I'm also doing the social media as we talk, so sorry about my distracted, my, my distractedness. Siri. I'm so used to, like, playing. <laughs> Ooh. Hell yeah. I've been playing freaking switch for so long my fingers don't want to cooperate. <laughs> cooperate? Cooperate. Uh oh. This Katamari is too goddamn small. <laughs> the other one you're actually... yours, sorry. <laughs> oh. The other one you get to actually uh, pick up things. <clears throat> like physically lift? Like, you know, like, with the Katamari, like, that's how they teach you how to play the game, is you uh, roll around and you pick up the Yeah, just kind of like a generalized, yeah. uh... It was not a dream. I really did it. The king of all cosmos has really done it. Really done this! A sky full of stars. We broke okay. it. Yes. Yes, we were naughty. Come Completely on. naughty. Naughty. Hey, hey Layla. Layla, yay. Uh, so, for those of you watching, uh, we are going to invite some of our friends to uh, say hello uh, on the stream as well as we talk and hang out. Uh, Layla apparently doesn't know about this game, so I figure we should just uh, invite them in. Layla, are you ready to, uh, to chat and hang out? Oh, and uh, Hydro's here too. Hey! Hydro! Hydro says, I've only seen this game in stores, never knew what it was. Well, you're about to find out. <laughs> here we are! Earth! Full of things as usual. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Ack, so, so small. You are as small as ever. We didn't notice you went way too fast. What is that? That body? That physique? Could you really be our son? I love the Aha! I've got it. Build yourself up while you roll the katamari. Work out and get bigger. Bigger! <laughs> oh, you should just blow him through him as I looked away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Layla will uh, join us for a chat in about an hour. That is fine. No worries. Uh, but for our other friends, uh, if you are part of the... Uh, our Discord. I will post the Discord details in a bit. Uh, you can uh, come and join us. Uh, join us on the stream. We can chat and hang out for a little bit as we play. Um, I mean, Hydro. Uh, do you want to uh, jump in? Say hello. Chat. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Oh, Hydra says this seems cool. Actually, yeah, it it's fun. um. Here we go down on the ground. It is. It's very fun. Uh, I was uh, mentioning to Layla earlier that it is very easy to get dizzy playing this game, and also frustrated because. Oh my god! No idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, we've got a couple people. Uh, Hydro, uh, let us say hello to Hydro first. We have. Uh, jazz waiting as well. Awesome. All right, I think this worked. Hydro, can you hear us? Yes, no, maybe. Uh, one second. Oh, hold on. Yo. Oh, hey, now you can hear us. Hey. Yo, yo. Hey, how's it going? Yo, this game is really 
interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it's it cool. seems cool. I don't really get the point of it, but I like making a big ball, so that seems cool. Yeah, so the only thing that I've heard is the the point is it was ultimately a, a statement on consumerism. Uh, the <laughs> literal only goal is to uh, uh, amass stuff and become bigger so that you can collect more stuff. And uh, So is there, like, a limit to, like, how big you can get? Or can you just be like, I'm just going to go for, like, hours and then, like, make a crazy ball? It depends on the challenge. Yeah, so uh, you sometimes have a challenge to get to a certain size for the Katamari. Uh, some of them you have a time limit. Some of them you're like, uh, the king of all cosmos only wants you to collect roses or something like yeah. that. And that's what you're what you're trying to. Oh, so it's like a level thing. Yeah, it's yeah. basically just like short little burst levels. Exactly. Oh. So the point of like the first one was to do uh, a five centimeter katamari, and you get a certain amount of time to get as much as possible to meet that amount. But if you don't meet that amount, then he gets very angry and he shoots lasers from his eyes, and that's not <laughs> great. What do you mean he shoots lasers in his eyes? Like, you can still collect stuff, but you have to, like, run from him? No, 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 no. he just punishes you. He punishes you out. So the point of it is to make, to do what he tells you to do, and if you do well, then awesome. You know, the Katamari becomes a star. But if you fail, then the screen goes, like, the black like this, except, and then he's, like, much bigger, and then he just starts shooting lasers out of his eyes to, like, punish you for not doing what he told you to do. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I... just adjusting the uh, audio level because uh, <laughs> Hydra's coming in like screaming, and we're we're yeah, at an so. agreeable level. So one second, I'm just gonna check to make sure that. Uh, one second. So you can roll all objects larger than your katamari. Crashing into large objects and walls will break things off the katamari and reduce the size. Yeah. Odd shaped objects will make your katamari lopsided okay, and I think off that's balance. Valid. Which, yeah. Don't, yeah. You just kind of have to pick and choose what you... Uh, until your catamaran is large enough, you can only roll up moving people and cars after hitting them. Most animals can be rolled up as they are. Yeah. Actually, here, I can just turn on. Oh, no, no, no. It was the uh, the capture. It was definitely on our side. Don't worry about it. Push the catamaran up small steps. Yeah. I'm going to double check that. One more time. Wash your view again. No. I know what the frick I'm so, doing. I've seen this game only on Switch. I didn't know it was on PlayStation. Yeah, originally came out on uh, the PlayStation Two, uh, and that's this. This is the original, original. Um, but then they did a remaster last year yeah. uh, for this game. Made everything look super pretty, but we're uh, we're classic. Guess. Plus, I like the way I like the way the controller feels, and it just makes sense. <laughs> All right, so I did yeah. a good job. Is it for school? But not very exciting, is it? Next time you want a much bigger one. Dude, I surpassed <laughs> your five centimeters. Shut up. The thing you collected most is... I collected a lot of snacks. snacks. A lot of snacks. Stationary. My, Earth really is full of things. Things. <laughs> we will now release it into the sky. Get the fuck out of here. And then it becomes a star. Yep. And it has very weird names sometimes, depending on what the... Jelly star. See. So depending on, like, what you had the most of, so, like, I picked up mostly snacks, that's what it's normally named after, is the most popular thing you picked up. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, interesting. It gets <laughs> better. I, it's, oh, hey. it's, it's cool, though. Like, I, I actually might pick up the version yeah. for the Switch. Yeah, it's, you should. Okay. It's a lot of fun. You kind of, it gets addicting. Sorry, we've got a ton of people on, on the chat here. Uh, oh. So, uh, Pants is there. says, roll, roll, roll. Woo-hoo, pants. Uh, <laughs> and also consume. Uh, Jazz, Layla, both said Hydra's loud. I think we fixed it. You guys let me know if it's better. Yes? Okay, good. All right. Uh, uh, pants says, I collect mostly snacks in his everyday. We know, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, Layla wants to know if you caught her a Snickers. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. All right, so this is Earth, basically. <clears throat> yes. And we just have to go to these little things here to make new stars. Yep. So we've already done this one. Now we're going to do this one. Yep. I'm going to play this oh. one. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Go so for I'm it. I'm ready. 
Make a <coughs> second start. Make a second start. How many levels are in this? Maybe we could actually wrap this game tonight. I don't remember. <laughs> it depends on how frustrated you get with certain levels. Okay. Because there are levels where it's like, there's one called a cow and a bear, and you're not allowed to touch anything that is a bear, only cow. And then there's another one that's the reverse of that, and it's a nightmare. Because <laughs> everything is a bear in the game except for like a few things that are cows. And as soon as you accidentally bump into something that's a bear, you end the game. It's over. And you're just like, 24. damn it! Yeah, it was back when uh, difficulty levels were like not... Like, the uh, the difficulty curve was not great. Uh, I do want to draw everybody's attention to the King of the Cosmos's giant dick bulge. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? Is this a uh, crown or his bulge? Uh, <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, one of them. <laughs> That's a pretty cool belt, though, dude. That's a, a I, The belt just accentuates the bulge, though. It's like, I'm trying to look at the belt and then, like, no, here's a dick. <laughs> Alright, so here's the next challenge. So it's got to be five centimeters and we're rolling around in the house again today uh, it's just some stranger's house that's just cluttered just cluttered with ants why. and rats and stuff oh no oh hey they uh, want it to be 20 centimeters 20 centimeters 20 centimeters uh, uh half kidney's here as well what's up half, bud what's up half kidney okay so we have six <clears throat> minutes to get 20 centimeters here please. six earth minutes okay shut up let right, me roll go Get to so rolling. You start with the small stuff and try to get as many of the same I items as possible. Not always easy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, watch out for those mice. They will hit you and knock shit off. What? There's like enemies? Kind of. Kinda. I mean, there's like a failure state. Uh, but like, the enemies are just anything that's uh, too large for you. Uh, will uh, run into you and knock things off of your catamaran. Ah! And then... Mm, so you have to, like, yeah, pay attention to what you're grabbing. Ah! Yeah, pretty much. Cause that mouse, that mouse just knocked off a couple, I want to say, matchsticks. Probably. Yeah. Oh, oh but, like, shit. See? You don't have enough size or speed to get over that hump, so you gotta go around it. Here we go. Here we go. Get it! Get some pachinko balls. Yeah, hold on. I'm actually gonna check how much this is on like the <laughs> Nintendo store. I mean, if it's not that expensive, I'll just buy it right now. Uh, I think it's. Uh, there was a sale on right now. It was like thirty bucks while it was on sale, but I don't know. All right. I'm sure it's like a normal game. Like. Yeah, probably. Fifty bucks, sixty bucks. All right. So that means we're big enough. We've hit a certain mark. So that means we can start picking up bigger things. Yeah. Just gotta be careful what we pick up. Cause I just picked you up. You can't have one. an unbalanced katamari. No. Well, you do, <laughs> but... <laughs> it's all freaking lopsided. It's okay. We got this. Ouch. You lost a snowflake. Oof. And it What's tells it you... at? <laughs> Is it expensive still, Hydra? Uh, let me check real quick. Oh, I thought that's what ah, you were doing. Well, well, my switch was, uh, is, is dead, so I'm trying to... Oh, oh gotcha. Oh, can I get those erasers? Yeah, you can. Yeah, Hell can. yeah. Now you're much right. bigger. So... Hmm, you 10, get centimeters. 10 centimeters. And at the bottom, uh, left hand side, it tells you what you're picking up every time. Yeah. And it's kind of cool because it's from Japan. So obviously, there's things that, you know. Don't really have a lot of context. It's only 20 bucks. 20 bucks? You it's awesome. <laughs> it is it's fun. 20 bucks on Switch. So when, I, when it charges, I'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some of these hot dogs. This is a game that was like super popular, like way back in the game or way back in the day, uh, like at the beginning of the uh, uh, games are art discussion. Whoa. This was one of them. So uh -huh. it's like the the idea of the whole like it's a ah! statement on capitalism. You know, you're you're doing mm -hmm. nothing but amassing stuff to get bigger, so you can amass more stuff. Thing. That didn't really become a discussion until well Woo! after the game existed for a while. Yeah. So. Shall we go outside? Yes. Actually, how much time do you have left? It actually seems like it could be kind of hard. Uh, yeah. It uh, is four minutes. Four minutes. Uh, it's on the top uh, right corner there. It's got a little gauge. Doesn't like count down the seconds until you're at your last minute. Yeah. Which is but it crazy. definitely gets it gets harder, especially when you have to be like more specific about what you're rolling up and you're not just rolling to get bigger. Yeah. 
Also, the uh, the king of the cosmos is a huge dick. He has a huge dick, and he is a huge dick. I think he just wears that belt to like get people to look down there. Exactly. It's oh. just like, hey, what are you looking at? My dick? Guess what else is down there? This awesome belt! No, you don't have to feel bad about looking at my dick. You could just say it's my belt. Hey, look, I... Yeah, I was just looking at your uh, belt. Yeah. Bottom that's... button on your shirt. That's, uh, the that's what they all say. So when you Matt, when you get to the point where you're like big enough, to... big enough, and you've gotten your hit your goal, that's when you just get to fuck around the rest of the time and just see how big you can get it. Nice. Yeah. Because you're already pretty big, and now you're just like rolling over everything. Yep. Well, uh, she's rolled past uh, the farmer a couple times. We're at about his shins right now. Oh, yeah, there's fuck. no way. Can you actually big get that. big enough to do that? You can roll up people. And that's the oh. cool thing. The game kind of like uh, leads up to that point. So like right now we're just at this guy's garden and we're just kind of hanging out in his house. Hmm. And that's most of the levels. And then sooner or later you'll get big enough to go like adventure out into the park or, you know, near a school. Oh. And then you get big enough oh. to roll up the world. Nice. Is that the best. Really cool. Hey, uh, Conky is here, my good friend Elijah from Yay! Boston. Hi, Elijah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is uh, the most people we've had all together. Yeah. Hey, hey everybody. how's everybody doing? What's, it's because uh, everybody up? likes Katamari. Yeah, everybody loves Katamari. We love Katamari. Alright, let's go One back the in games. the house and see if we can get some more stuff in here. It's definitely like. Uh, well, on the box, it's not very descriptive. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's like, you probably already know the game, so it doesn't have to explain itself anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Is there stuff over here? Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. So that's come on, come on, come on. coming along. It is. <laughs> it's because I've picked up absolutely everything in this person's nappy house. Alright. It just gets that really part, it challenging to move. <laughs> that's uh, the... Um, I got your shoes. <laughs> the uh, alarm for your time limit is not, not oh. wonderful. Does it do that for the whole last 30 seconds? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if this were a game that came out like these days, you would it would give you like uh, options. Yeah, option to turn it off, or it might be like the last ten seconds or something like I'm that. I'm the winner. <laughs> yeah, the winner. Thirty-four centimeters. <laughs> All righty. So, nice. Hydro, we are going to say goodbye for a second here, and I'm going to invite, uh, Jazz is waiting to talk. Thank you for talking with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you again later. If you, uh, if you feel like stopping back in, we're going to go for a while here, so feel nice. free to kick, or, kick it. For All sure. Right. All right, talk to you later, bud. Bye. Later. Yeah. Jazz. Hey guys. Hey, Hi. how's it going? Good, good. <laughs> Do you, uh, you, you usually uh, hang out in the streams every once in a while, right? Stop by, say hi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you sorry, played yet? Uh, sorry, I missed the question. Oh, no. Um, I have to turn off the sound on <laughs> the other thing. Oh, sorry, yes, of course. <laughs> Both of them are going, so I can hear you on here and on there as well. Got a oh, you got a royal present. <laughs> uh, Elijah yeah, no, says uh, that lady that we were rolling that big ball of trash around in front of looked completely unfazed, and oh, yeah, she I'm great. pretty sure she was asleep. I think that's what we're supposed to glean, but yeah. yeah. Did this uh, game come out? Oh, whew, that's a good question. I am going to Google that one. Oh, actually, we have the case right here, I should say. <laughs> it's called Pencil Star, because I collected mostly stationery. Woo! Uh, 2003. Uh, so, yeah, 2003. You should be extremely proud of yourself. I'm very proud. <laughs> Thank you. I think you could do it. 
I always believed in you. Thank you. I'm very good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of this is one of the uh, the Camilla plays. It came out in 2004. Uh, 2003. Hydro, Hydro's got you covered. Oh, oh, March 18th, 2004. Okay, I was wrong. You ready to try? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll play around. Okay. All right. So uh, Nova will be more interesting as I fucking fail to remember how make cancer <laughs> all right that sounds like a me thing let's it's do probably that gonna collect a lot of crabs yeah probably uh, that also sounds like a me thing <laughs> what hey there's that dick that we love yeah. <laughs> and also the king is here yeah. uh, <laughs> uh something's it's almost not... like uh, uh oh, like that uh, house party we had a while back where we all played uh jack Oh, Jack the Jack Box. Yeah, I mean, yeah. hey, my birthday's coming up. We were talking about doing a stream like that, uh, but you know, social distancing. We could play Jackbox on Twitch. Yeah, might be, uh, might be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta do a voice. Actually, uh, yeah, I'll do the voice. Uh, everyone is still hungry. Yes, can't you see that, silly? Speaking of delicious. We say crab. <laughs> Most certainly crab. Sending things to the earth. Uh, oh, uh, Pant says, Jez, I think you could draw a fabulous king of cosmos. Probably could, yeah. <laughs> Probably could. Probably could. Is that uh, something you would want to do? Probably bust something out right now. <laughs> Whip that up. So you have five minutes. Five minutes. And you have to get mouth watering katamari crab fan crab tastic. So just nothing but crabs. Oh. Uh, you can get everything else because you're gonna have to get bigger somehow. But most it should be mostly crabs. Mostly crabs. Yeah. Which is why it's called cancer. Yeah. Try not to get hit by big objects. How do you? You, know? uh, you have to. Nope. Oh, whoops. So you're gonna put that. You're gonna double down like this. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So okay. both at the same time. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. This. I did not play the learning mission. I yeah. probably should have. It's all good. Uh, Katamari makes you use both Joy Cons on uh, joysticks. the joysticks <laughs> on the uh, controller. So you were using both to maneuver the Katamari around, and you have to hit them, like, push them down at the same time in order to get you to flip around on the other side so that you can push it from the other side. Because once you get stuck, it's really difficult to be unstuck. Do you know what that is? That's, that's a dung beetle flinging another dung beetle. Oh, yeah, I just picked up a couple yeah. beetle fights. They're just, like, swinging each other around. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't. Damn it. So, Jess, how was your day? <laughs> yeah. Um, Tell us about your life. Well, I've mostly been doing a lot of commission work. I did a, a bit. I did a pretty dumb thing in trying to fix a computer by myself, and now I'm paying two hundred bucks to get it fixed. So that's interesting. Wow. You, that sounds like you did the opposite of fixing your yeah. computer. Yeah, I just messed up my motherboard completely. Oh Oof. no. Yeah. Oh, but that's fun. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I've been doing a lot of commission work, like shit ton. That's good. And, uh, yeah, I did some did some fantastic stuff for one of your uh, one of your friends. Yeah, yeah, it turned out wonderful. Yes, uh, our good friend Layla, also uh, in the chat right now, uh, commissioned you for her uh, new logo. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, been doing a couple of those for. Bunch of different people. Yeah, you um, did one for us too. Go, go, go. Yeah, I mean, I mean, other than you, other than you guys, uh, other than us. Yeah, and those turned out fantastic. Too. Yes, and that we will be showcasing uh, next week. Yes. Uh, we are going to do uh, our um, uh, Persona Four. Four. Persona Four. No. Yeah, Sorry. Kind of, it was kind of. I don't usually uh, like try to match a style like that. Yeah. So it was kind of cool to like force myself to match a style. Look at those crabs. I'm trying. <laughs> well, I think you did a fantastic job. Yes. I love mine. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, you made me look I slim, which is very nice. Because <laughs> I've been doing nothing but getting fatter and fatter, so... I don't know, I can't imagine... You, like, you still, like, on the stream, you look thin as hell, right? Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, I, I can't imagine you getting any... Like, I can't imagine you chubby. <laughs> I do honestly appreciate that. I've been feeling fatter and fatter because I have to see myself naked, and <laughs> it's uh, it's just a mess all over the place, guys. I gotta say. You're almost there. Yep. All right. Uh, I think I think we're all kind of feeling that right now. But oh yeah. Then again, this whole thing, whole mess. And the whole mess. Mi whoa, fuck. I oh, god damn it. it is a mess. It is a mess. Uh-oh. Stop hitting things, Katamari. We'll actually keep hitting things, but hit them in the way that I need you to. <laughs> uh, Did you pick all the Krabbies up? Uh, I, I mean, I always work from home, but uh, Nova obviously can't, because they're in medicine, right? So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. For some reason, I thought we worked at the airport. Uh... My day job is uh, is with the airline, but I just answer phones, so I can work from home. I don't have to go to the airport. I see. I see. Get that crap. Yeah. I am got not a lot of as. I'm not great at this, and now the now the siren starts. Oh God. Can you get back? Oh, there you go. Get that guy. Oh no, he's not ready he's not yet. Ready yet. There's two crabs on that sheet that you use back. I know, I would love to get them, but I can't quite reach that. Uh, I just love this game. Like when they were pitching the game. Yeah? Like, so, <laughs> how about you roll everything into a mess? <laughs> I mean, that's just my <laughs> life. I don't think I did it. <laughs> I don't think you did okay. Yeah. Excellent. Look at happen. Also slightly disturbing. <laughs> Let's yeah, take the yum yum rainbow block. Yeah, totally. You oh, yeah? It. Yeah. Okay. If you didn't do it, he'd be all angry. He'd, he'd be like, like fuck off, prince! And then he would shoot you with lasers coming out of his eyeballs. Yeah, he still has time. So, you got Thank 70. You it hey. probably has, like, either a very cute story behind it, or a really, like... <laughs> super um, weird one. Yeah, super perverted story behind it. <laughs> either of the two. Right, so you got 78 crabs. That's 58% of the crabs that are in that level. That's pretty good. So I do want to just address some of the uh, the comments, comments after me talking about uh, Jazz making me look good and me thinking I'm fat. Let's see. Uh, uh, Hydra says uh, they might want, want some work done, Jazz, so you might have another commission. Cool. Uh, uh, Elijah says they also need to see me naked, so... <laughs> Great. Uh, Layla says, I'm a fatty patty, uh, but then JK and I look good, and Hydro says they haven't been to the gym in, in three months, which I mean, same, but three months as well as like four, five, six years before that. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, did we do it? Did we make the thing? Yeah, we did a good job. Cool. Uh, you want to throw up our little... We're going to do the thing. So uh, we come to you viewers today for a very special reason. Uh, we are asking for donations, but not for ourselves today. Uh, if you were coming and uh, uh, expecting to give us a couple bucks, we ask you to instead uh, donate to uh, the charity of our uh, preference today. I'm just going to put up that. Uh, right now, we are uh, asking you to donate to support the uh, uh, Black Lives Matter movement and the protesters in uh, Nova's home state of Ohio. We're asking specifically uh, that you uh, toss a couple dollars to uh, the Columbus Freedom Fund. If you type in uh, uh, exclamation point charity in the chat feed, it will bring up a link to the Patreon. Oh, uh, thank you so much, uh, Hydro. Um, that uh, is a PayPal link for uh, the Columbus Freedom Fund. It goes to pay the bail of protesters uh, arrested uh, protesting the militarized uh, police force in America. Uh, we are protesting against uh, police aggression, uh, specifically in the black communities. So uh, 
Uh, we have already donated. Uh, we put our money where our mouths are. If you have a couple bucks, if you were expecting to donate to our uh, show today, please instead consider donating to uh, the uh, Columbus Freedom Fund. And we appreciate that. Uh, and uh, Conky says a cab and we agree <laughs> so uh, that is enough of the uh, deeply moving and unsettling truth of the world let's look at this guy's dick again <laughs> <laughs> Boa tarde I think it's Italian do you speak Italian Jess? <laughs> no I speak <laughs> Indian Punjabi, so oh. I don't know. That helps. Well, <laughs> if uh, if the king of the cosmos says something in Punjabi, uh, can you translate for us? Yeah, I, I, I doubt it'll come up, but <laughs> who knows? Like it's like it's like the hillbilly version of Hindi, essentially. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, I don't really think uh, a lot of uh, video games. Uh, rely too heavily on uh, doing Punjabi. It's usually like, we're gonna sneak in some Japanese or French or Spanish and pretend we're cool. Or or Latin. Um, um, yeah, but that makes no sense, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure they use a lot of Punjabi. Okay. Yeah, I, no. I, I do believe a lot more people probably speak uh, Punjabi than uh, I can't really say that. India is like one of the biggest metropolitans yeah. ever, right? So I'm sure there's more people speaking that than English, probably. But <laughs> oh, where, you got stuck. No. No. Oh, am I okay? Well, I also don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to make a passive aggressive joke. Okay. I I'm uh I deserve it. I will say that. Obviously, I I don't know a lot about. Uh, where Punjabi comes from, so. <laughs> so I, can, I can give you that look where it's like, I'm saying something very ridiculous, but I'm saying it with a really straight face. Yeah, well, you do that, and I will just believe you, and then I'll repeat that to my friends, so. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, this came it came from my friend Jazz. He knows what he's talking about, I'm sure. <laughs> That's why I asked him to explain something to me. <laughs> No, Scud, we actually all come from the moon! And I'll be like, shit, didn't realize that. It was like the time I convinced this entire... I was at a party, <laughs> I convinced everybody there that when you... When, if you come from India to Canada, they give you a pamphlet that t tells you how, about how you can get a job at a gas station. Oh my god. And if you're 30 and you have a doctor's degree, then how you can drive a taxi. Oh, shit. Uh, how, like, you know, out, yeah, out of 100%, what percentage would you say people were on board? All of them. All of them. It was like, it was clear, <laughs> they were like, what? Really? Oh my god, that's terrible. I need to, like, talk to somebody about this. <laughs> or see me, like, just kind of look at them with, like, a really, like, intense look, and they're like, get fuck with me. <laughs> uh, I'm getting dunked on in the comments because I don't know which what uh, areas speak Punjabi so thank you Hydro for googling it you are my rock Layla I know I'm, I'm stuck and I'm I'm uh, terrible at this and uh, ah! 10th most spoken language in the world I mean that feels right to me it's probably above <laughs> I'm gonna say Latin because yeah, I know I'll be right. Indo Indo Aryan, because that northern part of India was invaded by uh, the sort of Indus Valley civilization was invaded by the Aryans that was migrating out of Europe. They came towards India to, uh, through what is now Afghanistan and settled in that region of Punjab. Uh, the word cool. Punjab means five rivers, so ah. it's basically a region where five rivers flow through. Cool. cool. We're getting a history lesson. Oh, hey, we got we got the smart. Pick. Did you just pick up entire chalk drawings? I did. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I certainly did. Uh, yeah, we're getting schooled. Hey, this is an educational show now. 
Uh, <laughs> arguably. Arguably educational. Uh, are you, this fish? Do you have to pick up something specific in this one, no, or are you just getting... just big, big, big. I always do the ones where it's like, hey, only get every hey, 12th hey, egg. Hey, you picked your thing, <laughs> Okay, <dude>. but... <laughs> You said you wanted to do cancer. I said yes, because the 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 quote on that said make cancer, and I thought it was funny in a edgelord sort of way. Oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm getting dunked on stuff. <laughs> uh, in Pajama region of Pakistan and India. Okay, cool. Huh? Uh, it's It'd be kind of cool to, to get back into playing D&D &D again, but... Uh, one time you played. I know. I'm sorry we flaked <laughs> on the game. We literally forgot because we were going to play on Monday. And uh, then uh, when Luke needed to reschedule for Tuesday, we just had a very hard day. And w as soon as our asses hit the couch, we forgot everything else existed. So <laughs> sorry, but <laughs> what ended up happening? Did you guys play like a, a quick one off or? No. Was it just you and Luke? Yeah, he was just like organizing stuff, and I was like, hey, we could just, you know, hang out and talk. Oh. <laughs> so we just chilled, did some, just talked about industry stuff, and uh, I was pretty drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you're the best. That's been pretty, uh, that, that was, that's pretty normal for me yeah. in the evenings. Well, yeah, now it is. I'm actually. Uh, I'm actually already two drinks in, so I'm likely to go get more. Well, Although I try to cut off of beer, and I just end up drinking rum now. So. <laughs> rum is good. Rum is good. We were out of beer because I was selfish and I drank the last one last night. Um, even though I already have uh, have whiskey that I'm, I've been enjoying. And I took the last beer away right from the mouth of, of Nova. Just stole it directly out of her mouth. Shame on you. I know. Shame on you and shame on all of us. <laughs> Get the like fish! Like, for some reason, I, I just imagined you like kind of like snatching it out of her <laughs> mouth, but with your mouth. Kind of like, <laughs> kind of thing, where you like jumped in the air like that. No. Like you were just flying everywhere and no one's looking at you like, what? No, think of it more like she was taking a sip and I snuck a straw inside her mouth and drank it out of her mouth. That's that's more Gross. of what it was. Gross! <laughs> Stay out! That's, uh, that okay. didn't happen. Okay. That's not true. That's, uh, that's... Here we come! <laughs> Woo! Shot. Oh, you got the dog! Got the dog. By the face! Yep. I'm gonna get all this shit. Did you grab a person? Oh, you grabbed a person too. You are I big. I got a doll. Oh, is it a doll? Yeah, okay. I'm not big enough for people yet. Oh. I'm still on the ground. Okay. Your guys', is, your guys is stream is just like a little bit off. So I'm like, you guys are saying stuff. I'm like, this is happening. I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, it happened now. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's, uh, it's because in order to keep uh, the latency <laughs> fixed, I had to yeah. put a delay on. Get the cat, get the cat, get the cat, get the cat. Did I get the cat? No. Nope. Oh, damn. Get that kitty! Get the kitty! Nope, the fucker ran away. I'll you can't get the kitty. Look at me go! Somebody shooting arrows? Is that why there's arrows on the ground? Probably. Uh oh. That is the alarm for the end of the thing. <laughs> hey, I will let uh, so these other fine people know. Uh, if you. Uh, want to uh, join us on the voice call, uh, jump into... Whoop, you stuck. Oh, oh no, no, you're exploding. Oh, God. No. Oh, no, you're exploding. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. I, no. Oh, God. I like uh, lost all of my stuff. Son of a bitch. Uh, I the uh, roll king, in, and it put the sketch of the art and artist. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let me jump in there real quick. Uh, so we have a, uh, a Discord. If you are in the Discord presently and you would like to chat with us on stream, uh, please enter the waiting room and we will pull you in here. But uh, for now, Jazz, thank you for hanging out with us. Yes, thank you. 
Cheers, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are going to kick you out for a minute here, and then you can just go back to watching our screaming on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye. bye. <laughs> All right, seventy centimeters. Woo-hoo. Seventy centimeters. Yeah, centimeters. Uh, I am just going to actually refill my water, so you go ahead and play another game if you like. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. I got four hundred forty-six objects. 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 Uh, I collected a lot of fruit and some playtime, so I'm assuming that's toys and some cooking. Uh, so if it's fruit. It's got to have a fruit name for the star. Uh. It's a dessert star. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. It, excellent. So these little things in between are like part of a story. It has really nothing to do with Katamari, but it's just, yeah. It's just a story in between. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I yeah. usually just end up skipping it because. But no, we can watch it this time. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. This is very good tea. Thank you. You don't have hiccups anymore? No, no hiccups. Okay. No hiccups. Alright, off to another star. So there's star four. Okay, so it's just star four. You sure you don't want to play this one? Uh, sure. I can make star four. Is that just make a big star? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. Well, why don't we say hello to Elijah, who has joined us on the call? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Caller, you are on the air. Elijah. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I'm probably mute the stream or something, so I don't play. Oh, yeah. That's better. That's now I can better. Hear you, and not hear. you hear the ridiculous uh, other thing? You don't get the echo? Yes. Uh, hi, Retronomicon. Uh, thanks for taking my call. First time, long time. I've just got a quick question for you. So, I've been having some relationship problems lately. Um, I have a crush on this really attractive person, but, uh, you know, he's married. It's an awkward situation. Hmm. <laughs> Was there a question in there? You just kind of trailed off, <laughs> sir. Uh, I, I was just, I was gonna just I was just gonna do the plot of the room where it's where it's like uh, you know uh, you know my best you know it's my best friend's girl and Lisa. Uh, ah. It's so beautiful in it. Uh, but I couldn't think of a way to do it, so I just gave up. Oh. Uh, is it uh, something about uh, you're killing me, Lisa? I can't. I can't remember. I only watched that movie with Art. you, so. <laughs> oh, you're tearing me apart. That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, here we go. Ooh, come on. I picked up a thermometer. Oh God. Oh no. Just stand there. Yeah, I'm trying to, but the the thermometer's throwing me off. Oh, the thermopoly. There we go. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right. Well, All it's right. nice to meet you, Elijah. Yeah, I've finally. I've like so much about oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh no! That's a, that's a bad thing. No, it's no, fine. No, it was down. all uh, good. I'm a little jealous of you. I like. <laughs> Why? Because of our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it's this hidden love. Why? We didn't even. We didn't even. We didn't even like do each other or anything. It was very disappointing. Yeah, handies don't count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except there is that there is that photo of you wearing the stormtrooper helmet going down face down into my crotch. Oh yeah, there is, isn't it? Yeah. I forgot about that. That was my first time uh, visiting in Boston. <laughs> yeah, when are you coming back? Uh god, when I don't know. When are you coming here? Uh when is the coronavirus no longer a thing? <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the thing, you <laughs> You wouldn't understand this. Um, you don't understand my, the, my culture and the ways of my people. But um, in America, we have this thing called uh, "fuck the sick," uh, oh. where we just like don't give people health care, and we let people die, and we have no plans for dealing with it. Uh, 
Oh, we have and something. That's basically. No, no, we have something similar. It's uh, but we call it something like um, uh, try to treat the sick. Is that the same thing? Tori austerity. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean. Look, we're not going to get into the big politics. All we're saying is, you know, Black Lives Matter and donate to this uh, bail relief fund, but very not political. And all cops are bastards. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm hanging out on my roof right now. There's a yep. lot of fireworks going on because there's a protest happening downtown right now. And I assume they're shooting. I'm assuming the fireworks I'm hearing are them shooting the fireworks at the cops. Oh, yeah. Uh, it should be great. Uh, yeah, it's gotten pretty hairy here. I haven't gone out because I'm terrified of giving coronavirus to my partner. Yeah. I'm immunocompromised. Oh, hey. Um, my roommate's been going out. <laughs> uh, but, um, my roommate's been going out. Uh, basically, like, the first night, uh, like, like a week ago, the first night of protests, like, as soon as it turned, like, 9 o'clock, the cops immediately you know, just started shooting tear gas at everyone. Oh, uh, shit. They also oh, shut God. down the MBTA. Oh, shit. There's the fireworks. I can see him. Uh, they shut down the MBTA, the public transportation, and uh, just... Which basically meant that, like, there was nowhere for anyone to go. So the police inadvertently just herded everyone into, like, the main, like, tourist shopping district in downtown crossing. So, of course, naturally, everything got smashed. Yeah. Um, and then, the, and then the cops were like, how could they do this? All we did was tear gas them and herd them into this area with all these windows and bricks and uh, shut down public transportation. And then uh, the chaos broke out. Uh, I don't understand. Um, and they tried to do the uh, outside agitators bit where it was like, uh, oh, uh, all the people were actually from out of town, uh, mm -hmm. you know, bust in by sinister forces unknown like uh, George Soros or the Joker or whoever. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, which was, which of course, uh, turned out to be complete bullshit. Uh, almost everyone there was either from Boston or neighboring town. Um, and, um, since that day, like, there hasn't been any more, like, looting, looting around, but there's been a lot of, like, cops trying really hard to, like, instigate, uh, more violence. And, uh, fortunately, people not really taking the bait. That's um, good. It's yeah. nice to know that, uh, you know, some of it, oh my god, come on. Some of the uh, people are in your area are, uh, you know, aware enough of the situation b to try to not, like, actively escalate it. God damn it, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> actively escalate it uh, when, you know, all you're trying to do is the peaceful not cause shit, just cause a scene, not cause a shit sort of thing. Uh, you know. <laughs> I don't know. This is like... I have, I have, I have opinions uh, about <laughs> things that I probably don't want to say on stream. Okay, yeah. uh, so uh, no. for the purposes of satire and parody and comedy, yes, uh, all those things that we're doing. Of Mine, <laughs> uh, in in the game of Minecraft, I think that like I was watching a, a streamer, and in the game of Minecraft, they uh, burned down a police precinct. Yeah, uh, in protest. I, as satire. I think I saw that stream as well in Minecraft as satire. And honestly, it was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, like I don't, I don't know. It seems to have inspired a lot of people to also like you know get out on the streets and like you know stand up to the pigs in Minecraft. In uh, Minecraft. Yes. The game. Yeah, in the game. The video game. Yeah. Par parody. 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 <laughs> TM. 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 Uh, Uh, yeah, that Joker guy's pretty twisted. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to see the world burn. That's a good Joker, right? I, I did listen, it. <laughs> listen, there's a society, and we're all trying to live in that society here. What? Okay? Society? Yeah, that sounds like a listen, statement. Like... Are you making statements on my stream that is about a fun, multicolored video game that has nothing to do with uh, anything that's happening right now type in uh, exclamation yes. point charity um yes yeah uh yes i have donated and all you uh uh snotty little pay pigs in the chat uh, you better you know, um, po you better pony up um uh, hold on I'm, I'm not good at the fin dom thing let me try uh Listen, you disgusting little worm. You're, you're worthless. You're beneath me. And if you ever and if you ever want my approval again, uh, you better 
donate to the charity. <laughs> hey, Layla, can you uh, give us some tips for that, please? We're not good at uh, demanding money from people. <laughs> uh, uh, God damn it, I'm very bad at keeping the camera steady. Is there not a turn camera function? No. Uh, I don't this think game so. was invented like back in the like no but this is PS2 so I can't yeah. say it's like you know in the days where like bad controls were part of the gameplay this is like there's no excuse for this well I mean it's also they were going with a, a very unique very new concept in general so it's like it's hard to fault them for the controls being a little wonky on their first time in the rodeo but you're you're supposed to move yourself remember if you double down you move the camera yeah i know which moves it's you but it only it only flips the camera around is there not a change camera no oh, okay yeah. yeah you have to change the direction you're going in. yeah okay because that just turns me the opposite direction yeah. yeah if you get to 50 you can go get the bigger stuff on the other side yeah I'm working on it. Ugh, almost got it. Got your fucking shoe, man. Or your sandals. Get some get more pigs. Get, get the, another pig. Get the, I'm getting the pigs. Get the pigs. Get the okay. pigs. Oh, okay. Oh. Now it's... it's oh, boo. Only 50 centimeters. Okay. Shut up, bud. I'm trying to imagine this person's yard. Like, the person who lives here just has, like, just garbage scattered all over their... All over the place, all right. the time. Dude, right. what's your lark? Your like, 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 nightmare. This person must be. Is <laughs> there a bit of a hoarder? Uh, uh, I live in the city, so I don't have one. Oh yeah. Uh, talking about all the trash. I've been to Boston, bud. I was really alarmed by the amount of trash, just all everywhere. Yeah, and, <laughs> and Boston's like one of the cleaner cities in my awful country, which I hate. <laughs> Satire, Minecraft stream. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, I don't think there's anything actionable about like saying, saying that your country is. Like, you don't like your country. Well, who I knows, know, bud? Apparently, I, I guess anti any and the concept of anti-fascism has been added to the terror list now, which is really awesome. Yeah, like really awesome and good. One, one thing America's always been great at is like declaring war on abstract concepts, where it's like you know we're you know we gave up declaring war on countries. Now it's just like you know. Uh, the concept of terror or hunger or drugs but now we've got like now we're going to like start you know adding concepts to like organizational lists like uh, excuse me are you the ceo of drugs uh and would you please uh turn in any of your compatriots who are also <laughs> in the drugs organization or the the anti-fascist the people who don't like nazis uh yeah, you know, that organization. That terror group of against Nazis. That, uh... Yes. I'm pretty sure they were called uh, U.S. soldiers in the 40s. Uh, but who knows? What do I know? I didn't pay attention in U.S. history. I had Canadian history to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, you were too busy not learning about all the genocide the Canadian government did. Oh, no. Don't, trust me. I learned about it. It was just a lot... I had to do it on purpose. Oh. They weren't actively teaching us. Yeah. You're almost yeah, there. It's, it's almost like, you know. No, I suck. <laughs> I suck. There's a lot going on in the chat. Yeah, all right. Let's just try to catch up. Uh, oh, uh, Layla was giving you advice. Uh, say, fuck you, pay me. Um, uh... Yes. Hydro tells says tell them you will take off your clothes for donations. I will take off my clothes for donations. Here's a here here's a taste. <laughs> All right. Waiting for the stream to catch up. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Layla says promise you'll meet them at a hotel later, Elijah. Um, uh, yeah, love America. I know Hydro Hydro is one of our other American friends in Texas. Uh, other things are scary there. We are talking about Boston presently. <laughs> yes. Uh, cheap shit, uh, cheap real estate, uh, uh, menthol cigarettes, apparently. Uh, you know, just a ton of stuff. Tons of good stuff about, about America. Yes. 
I've never smoked a menthol <laughs> or any cigarette of any kind. I know you were a good boy. I'm a boring nerd who sucks. You're you were a good boy, and it's a good thing that you didn't. I I no, I just smoke a sh I smoke weed instead. It's, it's different. Every day. Nah, nah. Yes. We, we can cut that, right? This isn't live, right? <laughs> I mean, it, it, in the location I'm at, it's legal recreationally, so I can't be implicated. Um, in Canada, it is uh, legal as long as you are 18. You can buy it in at the co-op. Yep. You can buy it at grocery stores. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that rules. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you... you have the we can go get like a giant bottle of vodka at the piggly wiggly where you are so uh we don't have that here <laughs> yeah that was pretty crazy going to la and walking in and just being like there's liquor in the grocery store <laughs> i forgot about this there's liquor in the 7-eleven that we weren't allowed to buy because it was a sunday remember that elisha <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, because I'm in New England where we still have, like, all those old puritanical laws, like, written by, like, uh, people that thought, like, masturbating would, like, send you to hell or whatever. Or yeah. That, like, if you ate meat on the wrong day of the week, that, like, you know, that was an abomination. So there's just, like, bizarre rules about, like, when you can and can't buy certain items. So, like, liquor stores are just, like, not open on Sundays, uh, you know, in honor of our Lord Jesus Christ or whatever, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> which is awesome yeah. and well, great I for planning a party. Ball, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, but uh, I, I just went to save more liquors today and got a, 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 too much alcohol <laughs> because quarantine is just, quarantine has just like hyper accelerated my alcoholism to the, the point where like, I'm like unrecognizable as a person. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> Uh, you and I will have a real chat and uh, later, and I will decide how worried I should actually be about you, and if you're if you're if you're just being uh, facetious. I'm being I'm 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 doing jokes. You're doing jokes. Oh, that. sorry. Jokes is in the room. Yo. Jokes is jokes has not been in the room. We were just talking about how uh, America is terrifying right now, and also a pandemic. I, I don't think jokes is allowed around us anymore. Uh, it's, it's good. Things, things, good. Uh, die cans. Uh, yeah, Layla says you can buy smokes, liquors, and guns all in the same store. And yep. I'm sure we're talking about Walmart. <laughs> Is that Not accurate? Anymore, no. They stopped. Oh, right, right. They stopped selling. Gu Wait, did they stop selling guns in Walmart? Uh, yes. Uh, in response to Black Lives Matter protests, because uh, that's fantastic. Uh, it's only scary when certain people own guns. Oh, so wait, are you telling me that uh, the current uh, protests that are happening actually do accomplish things and have accomplished things? This particular activist group accomplished something very important mm -hmm. within the past couple years. Are you saying that to me, Elijah? Uh, I'm, I'm not saying riots <laughs> work. I'm just <laughs> saying. Uh, like in, in Minecraft, they were trying to get people to, like they were trying to like get Confederate statues taken down, and like and like you know people were, like showing up with like you know like all kinds of shit. Like you know we must like defend General Lee or whatever. But now like people aren't even asking for it. Like local municipalities, are, like uh, if we take down all the Confederate statues, will that make you go away? Please, we'll do literally anything except reform the police. Mm. Um, so, like, weirdly, like, all the, like, token things people were asking for, like, you know, almost a decade ago, uh, we're actually getting now, um, which is, uh... Except cool, healthcare. I guess. In school. Yeah, well, I mean, Americans will literally never get healthcare. <laughs> uh, like, that's just, like, a given, like... Oh, we've all agreed that? Yeah, it's just, like, it's just never gonna happen, because uh, we don't... America doesn't have an opposition party. Uh. Like, it's just... We, we just, we just straight up don't. Uh, so, why would we? Ah. Um, I'm getting distracted by your ball. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. You only have one ball? Well, that's what distracts people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hydra says everybody out I here buying guns now. Yes. Uh, 
people keep asking me to 3D print guns for them, and I keep having to explain that that's like the worst idea imaginable, and you should never, ever 3D print a gun. Yeah. Uh, because it will just, uh, you will lose your hand. It will explode in your hand. Uh, Jazz, yeah, unless you... Uh, sorry, uh, Elijah, Jazz has a question for the video chat. Why is it so hard for the American police to not kill people they are arresting? Would you care to weigh in on that? Oh, jeez. Um, so, it, it's not that it's, like, hard, like, it's a difficult task for them. It's that they just don't care. They have no uh, incentive not to. Like... Okay, I'm going to get real boring when I talk about, like, uh, theory and academic papers. Um, but there's a uh, there's an academic paper that got published in, like, 1999 called Militarizing Mabry and Beyond. Uh, so this is, like, you know, a paper that's, like, almost 20 years, like, almost 20 years old now. And it basically, and, like, it was, like, showing, like, the very beginning of the militarization of American police with, like, the creation of local SWAT teams where it's, like, in response to the war on drugs, like, more and more police departments were like, well, to fight, you know, drug cartels, which definitely exist in our, like, podunk, one-horse town population, 5,000, uh, we definitely need, like, a SWAT team with, like, you know, a tank and, like, you know, flak jackets and fully automated, fully automatic weapons and stuff like that. Uh, and that got sort of hyper-accelerated after the... Uh, Iraq war started to wind down from an actual war to just sort of a general military uh, occupation. So all this like leftover military equipment, the government didn't want to pay to like do anything with it. So one way to like save money and also like keep all this equipment in reserve was to just um, give it to local police departments. So you have like you know small police departments with like a popular where like you know there's like ten cops on the entire force for like this town of like a thousand people. And, you know, they've just been given, like, a bear cat, which is, you know, like, a tank man for, like, you know, removing mine, like, mines from, like, minefields. Um, so, you know, as they get more and more militarized and as, like, that, you know, hyper-militarizes the culture, uh, you know, there's the old saying, like, if every tool you have is a if the tool, the only tool you have is a hammer, everything starts to look like a nail. Yeah. And that's true. Uh, but then there was also, like, a recent uh, FBI study that came out that showed that, like, there was a concerted effort from, like, far-right, like, white nationalist and neo-Nazi groups to actually infiltrate uh, law enforcement in the United States. And um, the White House and, you know, the government had been, like, warned of this for several years, and they just kind of, like, ignored it. Uh, so you have a lot of, like, really, really far-right people uh, who are part of, like, you know, like, you know, if you go online and like look at like pictures of like the cops that are out there right now today you know there's a bunch of them that have like you know like three percenter or like you know don't tread on me or like QAnon or like weird bizarre like right-wing conspiracy theory like patches that they just put on their uniform because um that's sort of who's taken over the police departments um so yeah it's this combination of like hyper militarization and like the infiltration of like uh, far-right groups and like i mean and the general uh racism uh, and white supremacy that never really left the country we just sort of uh sorry i'm getting like really boring but uh <laughs> no no you're fine don't uh, worry about it there's a there's this well since this is turning into like uh conky's boring ass book club <laughs> uh there's a there's the one that everyone recommends but it is worth reading it's called the new jim crow by michelle alexander and that's like a a really good explanation of like how America never really gave up slavery. It just sort of like transformed it into a new, a new mode to be compatible with the, with with abolition. So you know, instead of like actual slavery, you just had like you know, um, you uh, know prisons, prison slave labor, slavery, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and and how and, and you know how like the majority of laws in America are written in such a way uh, and very intentionally that certain groups get targeted and others don't. Like, um, I mean, the famous example is, you know, uh, with the war on drugs, you know, uh, with cocaine, like powder cocaine had like a mandatory minimum sentence of like five years, whereas crack cocaine, which is chemically identical to it, uh, has a mandatory minimum of like 26. Um, but the reason for the mandatory minimum being longer for uh, crack cocaine versus powder cocaine is uh, one was a lot more popular in, uh, among the among like poor black communities, whereas you know powder cocaine, uh, very popular among you know uh, rich, rich white, white guys, yeah. yeah. So, 
even though, again, uh, the two are chemically identical. Uh, there's no difference between the crack cocaine and powder cocaine, other than like one's snorted and one's smoked. But you know, it's, it, it's the same. So, uh, yeah. Uh, why, you why did it! Hard for cop <laughs> yeah, why is it so hard for cops to uh, not murder people? Because they're not trying not to. Yeah, they're it's, they're it's literally murders. trained like, to do it's, it. It's it's a feature. It's a feature, not a bug. Yeah. Uh, and that's why you've got like lots of people out there that are like full on abolitionists who are saying like, <laughs> don't even try to reform the police. Like you just have you have to like abolish them and replace them with like you know some kind of you know community support or something like that. So. Um, yeah, something that's a little more like the the actual goal is to support uh, the people who need help and not punish the people who are already in trouble, sort of thing. Yeah, uh, I mean the basic theory, like there, or not theory, it's like the belief, and I t am inclined to agree with this, is that like there's really only two kinds of crime. Uh, crime driven by poverty and crime driven by mental illness hmm. and you know crimes of poverty can be addressed by addressing the poverty like if you have someone who's stealing food or like stealing clothes or you know stealing goods um, that's probably like a poverty issue you know where a person doesn't have like access to like those material needs being met you know and you, then there are people that you know like maybe you have like you know violent serial killer type criminals which are uh, despite what every single true crime podcast would tell you, uh, extremely rare. Um, but, you know, those are people who are, you know, mentally ill and would be better served by, like, you know, a more robust, uh, you know, healthcare system that might, you know, address those things. Um, you know, like, drug use is also, like, very much like a, a health crisis and not like a criminal justice crisis. So, you know, you can, ad you can address these issues without policing and without a carceral system mm -hmm. um, and that's sort of the general belief of like you know prison abolitionists um, whether or not you'll ever fully get rid of like the concept of like police and jails I don't know but like the current system as it is right now is like completely antithetical to any kind of like you know criminal reform or like you know dealing with like social ills if anything it's gonna make things way 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 worse um yeah and it's i mean uh, we we end up in this in this culture of you know we can we can say hey we know these things need to change and we know that they do but ultimately the people who do, are going to you know be able to enact the change on the behalf of the masses are the ones who are already benefiting too much from it being the way it is and that's why we end up in the flashpoint that we have and that's why we're doing this stream, raising these these funds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so donate your pay pigs. Um, oh, and I want to address some people in the chat. Oh, okay. uh, a couple things. Um, uh, Don Buka said it's a shame that no snitch culture has infiltrated the police department. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the the blue wall of silence uh, is very much like a, a huge problem, and part of why a cab uh, is such a meaningful saying because they're really like cops don't snitch they never ever like speak out against other cops or and the ones that do uh either get fired or killed um uh i have actually this is on my horrible secret is i actually have like a, an immediate family member who is a retired boston police officer and they told me once uh that they would literally never like testify against another cop for any reason uh, because if that happened like you know oh you need backup your backup just doesn't come uh you know uh, your tires get slashed to things like that there's no like um i think the way to address that is um this is gonna sound super anti uh labor but like you kind of have to break the power of police unions yeah and that's and that's when you end up in a tricky spot of like it's like you gotta take the power away from that union because the union that is using this power in a very uh, bad way sort of thing and yeah so it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah you have to find a way to weaken police unions without weakening other unions yeah. because like you know like like a police union and a carpenter's union are not the same thing yeah um, for sure 
There's also absolutely no solidarity between, like, police unions and other unions. Like, I know in America the police unions are all part of, like, the AFL-CIO, but I've never once seen, like, cops walk a picket line with, like, Teamsters or whatever. Like, I've seen Teamsters walking picket lines with, like, you know, like, grocery store workers. Like, I've, I've actually seen that. That happened, like, not far from me. But, like, I've never once seen a cop, like, walking a picket line with someone because fundamentally, like, their job is to protect property and corporate interests yeah uh, so so you can't really think of police unions in the same way that you think of like other like trade or labor unions so you kind of have to you have to like I, and it would be like so it would, it would be really hard to get this done but you would have to like either like break the power of police unions or just make it so like this one profession can't like collectively bargain uh whereas every other one can or which like, is a kind of tall ask. Yeah, and, like, then, like, what kind of precedent do you set? Like, do they, like, does that set a bad precedent for other unions? Like, can that be used to, like, you know, hurt others? Like, so, I don't, I don't really have a, I don't have a good solution here. <laughs> yeah, there, we, we're, we're currently playing a video game, chatting on a Friday evening, uh, while Jazz is drawing art of the King of the Cosmos, as well as drinking, I think he said his third beer. Um, we're not gonna have the answer tonight. I don't think so. I don't. I don't. Whoa. Uh, I don't think we need to worry know, about I that. I think we can solve it. I think we can solve it. <laughs> oh yeah. I think we can solve all of the world's problems. It's definitely doable. Oh, for sure. Uh, what? What is it? Uh, oh. Keep on. Is that your mom? I don't know. <laughs> um. All right, well, uh, let's, uh, I will actually uh, have Elijah, would you mind uh, ceding your time? Because uh, I believe we've got another uh, person waiting for us. All right, I yield my time, uh, Senator. <laughs> Good day. Uh, actually, right. before you do, uh, will you just say one thing for me? Uh, will you just yes. say Black Lives Matter, please? Black Lives Matter, please. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, if, uh, oh, uh, if you're going to stick around, uh, I'm sure we'll find some other time for you here. I believe we've got Layla waiting to have a chat with us, too. Are you going to stick around for a bit? Yeah, yeah, I'll be around. All right. We'll talk to you later, right. bud. Bye, everyone. Boy. Uh, my mail got delivered to the wrong place, oh. and the person brought it over. That was really nice. Hi, Layla. You are on the line. Oh, can you hear me? I think you're muted. Or did I mute it? I'm bad at this. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it was me. I knew. <laughs> okay. I didn't know what was happening. I was so me lost. Me neither. <laughs> So how how's how is how do you think the stream is going? Do we have some interesting guests? <laughs> have oh, you yeah, have you I been learning a lot? I, yeah, I've, I learned a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's been going pretty good. I'm on stream live now too, so I Ooh. just told everyone that you guys are trying to raise money for charity. Um, cool. Yeah. We are, uh, of course, we're, uh, the way that we've set up our charity stream tonight, uh, we are not taking any credit. Uh, the money that you donate is the is a donation for yourself. Uh, we just want to make sure that the money is going to the right places. So if you are donating, absolutely. Hey, let us know in the chat here so we can give you a, a shout out. But uh, like, we're, we're not, we're just, we're trying to help. And this is the only way that we could think right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cool. Well, do you yeah. have the links? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you just type in. Uh, uh, on your uh, chat. Yeah. I'm gonna copy it and put it on my chat. It's just exclamation point uh, charity, and that'll bring up the link. I'm trying. <laughs> trying. Uh, I have you guys on the iPad. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, oh my now god! I come on. Nice. Fucking. Crab, ah! He's too big. Crab bastard! Oh shit! I could have sworn I was big enough to get uh, the crab. Okay, <laughs> so this is the link to where my friends 
are raising money. Yeah. It is, it is a bail fund uh, if, uh, for uh, protesters arrested, uh, uh, currently protesting in, is it all of... Uh, just Columbus. It's just Columbus, uh, or is it all there's, of... There's uh, uh, other, other locations, but okay. this one's just particularly for the Columbus. Yeah, it is uh, Nova's home state, and we thought that would be appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> very, very awesome of you guys. <laughs> is our audio coming through yours? I, I didn't know. We yeah. didn't discuss how that was going to get set up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You guys are playing on my stream. Okay, cool. You. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually forget to unmute you guys though for the first bit, so sorry, okay. chat. You missed like three or four minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I suck at this thing. Uh oh. But yeah, cool. Oh god, uh, we're bad at this too, and I'm also terrible at video games. Oh my god. Me too. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always, I'm like the worst at video games, but I just love playing them so much. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm getting the fuck out of this area. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. Yeah, just I've get... been good since I was like 15 years old. Yep. So, you know, long, long-term long buddies, and them in the... Oh my god. What the hell is that sound? <laughs> Are you okay? It's, oh, oh no. God, it's children screaming outside. Oh, shit. <laughs> I couldn't tell because... My headphones are on, and, and all I could hear was like just a really faint like. Nee, 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 nee. And I was like, what the? <laughs> oh, I've had that a couple times too. Um, Nova will listen to podcasts uh, while I'm still working my day job, and the podcast uh, she's been trying to catch up on lately is the uh, is uh, my brother, my brother and me. And from upstairs, uh, I'll, I can hear them kind of talking, but. They all just kind of sound like a duck quacking, like in a digital sort of like a video game duck going quack, 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 quack. And that's all I can hear from my office. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Woo. Shit. Oh, God. Yes. Okay. So you needed some advice on how to get money from strangers. Yes. Uh, you got to give the advice to Elijah, who is... Um, uh, he, people tell me that, uh, he and I look a lot alike and, uh, in terms of like personality, just imagine me, but like way cooler and more interesting and better at doing everything. So basically, okay. pretty cool. <laughs> so yes, but that's, that is Elijah. So just imagine me, but cooler and more attractive and now give me the advice on how to, uh, convince people that, uh, they can simp, simp for me uh, by donating to charities. Uh, I will also say to uh, the people watching, Layla taught me all of these words, so blame, blame her. <laughs> I did. I taught him what a simpy boy is. <laughs> and also pay boy. and pay pig and. Uh, pay pig. I think we also discussed what cuck means. Um, yeah, you pretty much taught taught cool. me all of these now. Yeah. <laughs> so you can you can blame Layla for my my overuse of those terms. I uh, I would say that I'm very um, experienced in dealing with the Sims and cucks <laughs> and stuff. So <laughs> lots of experience. <laughs> yeah, saying this directly to all the people watching your stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, my stream people are amazing. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking like strip club people. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh, They're okay. Way no. more simpy and cucky than uh, than anybody. Do you maybe want to start uh, explaining that because I don't know how on on the uh, on the grind all of our friends here are. Do you want to explain uh, maybe, maybe simp first? <laughs> okay. So, um, a simp is kind of like a guy that does nice things for women. It's, it's kind of like an incel, but not really. It's like, just like a different vibe of it. But it's like a guy that gets money and thinks they're doing nice things, expecting some type of reward, like sex or a date out of it, like some type of attention. Um, 
and they think that they're like entitled to it because they did nice things. Um, but yeah. it, it, but it's like a, a a soft a soft incel. It's a soft incel. Yeah. <laughs> soft like incels will be like, you know what? I did all this stuff for you, and I'm a fucking nice guy. All right, I'm a fucking nice yeah. guy. I, I do nice things for nice people, and now I'm gonna burn your house down. That's yeah. an incel. A simp is kind of like. My Maybe she'll call me later. I, my feelings are really hurt, and I don't like it, and um, I'm a nice guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, that kind of vibe. Um, and then a cuck is like... Somebody who gets off on it. <laughs> yeah, they like it, you know. And then pay pigs are proud to be pay pigs, um, but they like to be, like, taken advantage of financially by a random woman. Um, so... So basically, I love pay <laughs> yes, especially when you can. A pay pig is a sugar daddy who's getting everything they need just by doing the paying stuff, right? Yeah, with yeah, yeah, without without sugar. the sugar part, yeah. Yeah, just the pay part, the sugar part, <laughs> the daddy part. Yeah. <laughs> I hate. I hate that I said that. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Also, chat, Scott was trying to come up with uh, a uh, acceptable Hollywood boyfriend figure for me. Uh, yes, I was. Hey, I'm, do I'm doing a great job. I said uh, Geralt of Rivia. I said I Tom. I don't know who that is. You, do you, you, you liar. You just, we just talked about that. Geralt from The Witcher. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> Witcher guy, right? Yes. You told, you yeah, active, we had a conversation yeah. and you said he was hot. <laughs> I forgot. I okay. Gerald is such a, it's a name that kind of throws you. Have you ever heard of that movie, Gerald's Room? Creepy. No. Is that a, what is that? It's, it's, it's from Stephen King. You know it's not going to have a good outcome. Oh, of course. Oh, crap. Uh, get, 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 get. But yeah, yeah. for Skets, um, <laughs> your woman can... Conky says simping ain't easy, and Don Berger <laughs> says yo woman consent too. <laughs> simp is a reply guy on steroids. Yes, yes, <laughs> that would do it. Oh god damn it! I know, I know, thing. I know I'm not gonna beat this. Turn around, damn it! I'm bad at this game. For sketch chat, um, <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I've been an exotic dancer for seven years. So. And a damn good one. You're like the champion. <laughs> the champion. <laughs> <In my> chat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, I'm not that good anymore. <laughs> it used to be really good, but not because I have no patience. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost my patience. Uh, and then Shanna oh. says on my chat, Lil, are you gonna make an unsimp yourself guide stream? You know, I should. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but yeah. I agree. Like, you know, simps that want to unsimp, you know? Hey, gotcha. Like, do a, do a better job of not being a simpy, simpy boy. <laughs> yeah, like a 101. It, it would literally be like me yelling at a guy in the strip club for being weird. You know? Yes. I, well, no, you know, I don't. when a guy does something weird in a private dance, like, blows on you, and I'm like, dude... I know you probably like it if a girl blows on you, but we don't like it when strangers blow on us, so don't do that. <laughs> that it's is really weird. <laughs> this is a very one-way street, and you are on the wrong end of that street. So stop. <laughs> mm -hmm. If we're going to have fun today, right now, for the next whatever amount of time you pay for, stop blowing on me. It's fucking disgusting. If we're, we can enjoy ourselves for the next hundred dollars worth of time. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sex yeah. work is work. Unionize all strip clubs. Don't unionize them. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, you and need a bit more protections. It, it, it is. It, it, it's good, but uh, I would like to have, like, um, you know, some sort of laws placed where if a company is taking advantage of the sex workers that there's laws in place so that doesn't happen but I do not want to be unionized <laughs> because I decide how much I make 
Not a union. <laughs> yeah, but it's also, I mean, there should be rules about how much you have to pay to uh, be a performer for the night, because I know yeah, that was like a big problem. Fees, yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think there should be, like, some regulations on clubhouse fees, how much um, other clubs are allowed to take from the dancer. Yeah. Man, we have we have a uh, eclectic collection of people who've got all the views that we wanted for this totally not political episode of Retronomica. First episode ever, and we are nailing it. We're I think yeah, we're nailing it. Nailing it. Yeah. I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> don't forget to follow. Hey, all you lurkers, follow the stream. We would appreciate it. Thank you. Follow the stream. We are so close to hitting our uh, our goal that we need to. Whoa! Holy crap! Yeah, just keep doing that. Uh, uh, so. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Can't uh, uh, oh no, we got one. Hey, Yay! art by Jazz. Thank you, Jazz. <laughs> um, my stream, art, my stream. People said already following. <laughs> Aw, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, uh, we're really close to uh, hitting our, what is it, affiliate is the next stage that we're on? Yeah, uh, affiliate. You need yeah. like two more follows, am oh, I correct? Sweet. Uh, yeah, we're pretty close. Uh, I think we were at... Oh, uh, life, you sweet pea. Life oh, no, we need like seven. <clears throat> Chris, oh, they need seven, guys. Chris <laughs> yeah. Cosplay said already following. Lip for Life said she's following you guys on both her accounts. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hydra's already following, we already yeah. know that. And we already uh, know that. We have good friends. I don't know if you're following, but, <laughs> but these are my best friends. <laughs> so, uh, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. But we don't want to kick you out. We've had this conversation already. <laughs> no, I don't. I won't kick you out. I love no. you too much. <laughs> I don't want to have this conversation again. <laughs> 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 Just saying. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I can't speak uh, to Layla about her followers, but she'll like you twice as much if you also follow me. <laughs> I do, actually. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, I feel like, you know. It's important. I, I Share helped. the love. Spread the love. I helped and I shared it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but also, if you don't follow, uh, please consider donating to that uh, charity that we're currently uh, currently raising funds for. Uh, and that is more important today. More important. Yes. 100%. I'm not even joking. Um, charity. Charity is more important. Uh, so, what is up with you right now? So, uh, I mean, the coronavirus means that you aren't at the clubs. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? <laughs> All right, fucking news. Really, sure. Really. Uh, you know, well, I'm not working, yeah. so I'm streaming every day at 8 p.m. Yeah. Our time for the same zone, so. Yeah. And if Just you, uh, that, for. Uh, playing some Game Boy Advance games today, so, yeah. you know, uh, after Scud stream, y'all want to check me out, that'd be cool. Yes, uh, if you're fo if you're following us, follow my friend Layla. Uh, <laughs> Layla Blue with two E's. Is that Blue E? Yeah, because one E was taken. Oh, okay. But I don't I don't pronounce it Bluey, right? No, just because that sounds funny. that sounds it sounds pretty bad yeah, if I was. Yeah, my first and middle name. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, yes, but give her a follow too because. I love her, and she needs and, more and follows. And Jimmy would like it. And Jimmy, get over here, will you? You fatty patty, come here. Yeah, that's that's the other part of uh, her, uh, how her streams are better than ours. She has a dog that uh, comes and, and visits a he, lot more frequently. He basically just sits in the background <laughs> and sleeps in funny positions. Hello, say hello. Uh, yes. Hello. <laughs> Can you guys hear him? Uh, I'm gonna make him moan and groan. Yeah, we, well, we can hear the jingle jangle. <laughs> I do like the, uh, hey, tell us about your life, and uh, rather than yes and, you were like, no thanks, which is great content. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay, oh, you stop. I'll tell you some stuff about my life. Sure, okay. Um, or just what's going on? How, how have you um, been? I, I usually have about, like, five to eight 
packs of hot rods in my purse at all times. Yes. Um, I, I, I remember the photo you sent about that. Um, my dog is 10 years old, and he's stinky, but he's, he's very loving. Um, I rescued him. Um, I've been a stripper for seven years. <clears throat> I own a skincare company, uh, and I have, like, a website for it, and it's really good products. And I, I also like to make homemade soap. I still need to order a uh, skin peel because I am breaking out. <laughs> oh, you want the charcoal mask? I got three left. You, I can drop it off if you want. Hell yeah. I will make sure to have some dollars available to you. Or I can just, I guess I can just... Bucks, super cheap, whatever. You can just have one and then and ah. uh, not it. I'll, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take it from you and then uh, your next stream I'm going to uh, kick you the money on your stream and that'll oh i just love that okay <laughs> okay uh, I'll, I'll like i'll drive one to you guys are you guys home tomorrow or uh yes uh ish I but drop it off in the mailbox, whatever. uh yeah if you if you want to do that but i mean we're gonna find some time to do uh safety quarantine hangouts anyway so we'll figure that out so no rush on that <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna um, do a backyard hangout when uh the weather clears up that way we can be Two meters apart. <laughs> Speaking wisely. <Wait. laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm actually in the middle of planning a picnic, um, so. Hopefully the weather holds out because it looks crappy out. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm kind of just thinking the the nicest day next week. I'm gonna um, pack a picnic and uh, go eat it <laughs> somewhere on my Hello Kitty blanket. So. That does sound like a, a good use of your time. Did you even yeah, win this I'm gonna, one? Or no? I'm gonna wear a really cute pink oh, no. outfit. I'll probably live stream it. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be all about the picnic that day. So uh, I haven't had a picnic since yes. last summer. Sorry, I have to address uh, uh, Half Kenny. Don Buca here is saying he's crashing the party and screaming beers. We know, bud. We're, we're like when when the pandemic is over, we are going to hang out. Don't worry. Yes. Oh, we yeah. uh, still need, like, once once everything is safe for us to be places and things, we will uh, go hang out at uh, uh, Rams Cross. Was that the uh, the place? Um, there's a video game uh, bar uh, on 17th, and hopefully if it survives, we'll go hang out there. Oh, wait, which one? Uh, Rams Cross. It's on 17th. I've never heard of that one. It's... Pretty new, I think. I had. I didn't. What about that? Ah, other you one? fucking Greta's. dog! Duh. <laughs> Sorry. Which one? No. Greta's. Greta's. I don't know that one. I went to mm. that one and. Um, Is it nice or? I got kicked out later, so. Okay, so not nice. No, they were pretty nice actually. But you got kicked out. Yeah. So. It, I was fighting with some some douchebag uh, that was that was a weirdo, and I was like, you know that that that's what you did was weird. You're weird. Don't be weird. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because I caused the scene. You know? Oh, you got kicked off, and not the weird person. No, we both got kicked. Oh, off. okay, good. Well, <laughs> I guess that's kind of justice. Conky <laughs> weigh in on that one. Is that one justice? <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, Greta... Oh, okay, uh, Half Kenny says Greta is good. I honestly don't know where any of these places are because once we moved, once, uh, we moved away from 17th, I just stopped going out to places. Me uh, too! Yeah. Now, uh, Nova and I, the one place that we go is, uh, to get Takayaki and Boba, uh, and also what to... What the hell is that? Takayaki is uh, octopus uh, wheat balls. It's a Japanese dish. It's delicious. Yes, it is. Uh, and boba is bubble tea. Oh, well, I like bubble tea. Yeah. Without the bubbles. Oh, uh, well, so you like, a, you like a smoothie. He's like smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> I drink my bubble tea without bubbles. Though. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so that is literally goat, just a. Uh, yeah. yeah, whatever flips your goat. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Conky says uh, you get you both getting kicked off uh, out is not justice. So I'm wrong. I I I'm making an ass of myself again. <laughs> you uncultured. Swine. I am an uncultured swine. Do I have to teach you? I know. I I 
It was homeschooled, okay? You gotta you gotta give me a Are little homeschooled? Yeah, I was homeschooled. Oh my god, yeah. I didn't know that. Yes, you super did. I know you did. Because we talked about it, because uh, we had this, uh, I mean, this I'm was... I'm starting to realize most of my friends were homeschooled. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, we definitely talked about this, but this had to have been, like, ten years ago, so... I, oh, for I, sure. I don't, I don't mind and, that you and don't And also, remember. remember, ten years ago, I was pretty fucked up. Yeah, so there was a lot of shit going 24/7, on. 24-7. Yeah, yeah, so. uh, <laughs> The. Uh, I don't actually really remember once of, like... <laughs> very much about like us being friends back in the day but i know we were friends no we absolutely were and mostly it was just because we hung out at the same coffee shop like all day every day so yeah, we just we like if we didn't become friends at that point nothing would have made us friends so oh for sure yeah no, no. and i became friends with like i think i did anyways friends with a lot of interesting people with that coffee shop yeah i don't know where I most of them went. Everyone but. except that chick that slept with my boyfriend that I beat up. Remember when I got banned from there too? <laughs> Vaguely, I don't really remember. I mean, I also don't remember a lot That's of all I remember. those days, but uh, for different reasons. Uh, mostly because <laughs> you know, rep I repress things and I have a bad memory. So <laughs> there's that. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, there. That's the thing. We probably wouldn't remember like a lot of the general generalities of us being friends. Mostly just that we have been friends for so long. I can't really imagine us not being friends anymore. So there's that. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's the same with the. And we've never. We've never had a problem either. Like I've never been. I've never called you. I've been like, you know what, Scott? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Which is never. good. You are. You are one of the few. Elijah does that. Oh, really? <laughs> well, Elijah does I'm, that usually. I'm, I'm the one that will call people and let them know, you know? I know. I <laughs> try. I, I'm getting better, though. <laughs> no, you've always been good to uh, me. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm, I'm lear okay, I'm learning now. Is uh, I, I was always trying to be the best, the best scud I could be. Oh, you, you hit that very the square, girl. Best the world. <laughs> yes. Um, but I know that I've got a lot of learning to do, and that is a part of why we're we're doing this today. And that's why we're human. Yeah. Because humans are always learning. Yeah. Always evolving and always growing. Yeah. And no human is perfect because that's what makes us human. Yeah. So Remember, <laughs> guys. Except for the Dalai Whenever Lama. You're I haven't heard anybody. Whenever you yourself and you're thinking, I didn't do a good enough job, just remember, you're only human. Yeah. And we'll we'll get there eventually once our brains all get downloaded into the cloud and we can become robots. Then we don't have any excuses. Ah, I just love Nova in the background. <laughs> She's trying so hard. Oh my uh, god, that balls! This is the game they're playing, guys. <laughs> you gotta show show your stream too, otherwise you're just gonna hear us talking about the ball. <laughs> but um yeah they're they're collecting <clears throat> giant ball thing so that's pretty cool how do i get back up <laughs> it looks like you're Without struggling it. a little bit <laughs> I'm just okay. having okay. Time. You're, you're okay stay away from the people's feet they'll kick me they'll kick the crap out they'll of you kick me uh, hey, Layla, I believe we've got another uh, person waiting uh, to give us ah! chat. Do you mind if we say goodbye for now? Yeah, it was nice chatting with you guys. Yeah, I nice chatting with you. Day. I'm, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, Bye -bye. I'm happy that this worked out because we can do this a lot more often, too. Uh, this do you, will be fun. Do you want to just say for our stream, Black Lives Matter? I think that's how we're going to si sign off now. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. Cool. Yeah. We will see okay. you later. Bye, Layla. Okay, Bye. Love you. Guys. Love Bye. you. Uh, so we've got Pants waiting to talk. He's been waiting so, so patiently. Aw, hi, Pants. Uh, let's bring fuck. him in. <laughs> hi, Pants. <fast>. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, that was nice. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Hi, Pants. Hey, and we've got Hello. a new follow as well. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Do I sound okay? You sound you perfect. So you sound nice. so nice and so lovely. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so good. I was so worried. Yeah. I got a, a new mic. Oh, congratulations. So I, I just wanted to make sure it sounds good. If I sound crispy, then we're, then we're doing good. Yeah, um, I mean, 
we we can't really know for a hundred percent because you are calling in on discord and discord always gives us a little bit of a tinny sort of old timey radio sound anyway so it's hard to watermelons sure. excellent, excellent. yeah but i mean uh, you've got that oh. that sultry smooth voice that'll balance it out we're almost there guys yeah thank you where the fuck am i <laughs> How's the rolling going? I love this game. Yeah, you got to roll a katamari. It's going yeah. well. Yeah, it's yeah. going well now. Shit. But you're st- <laughs> well, it was going well. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. We'll find out. <laughs> got to get those icons. <laughs> how, how are my friends doing? I, 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 Scott, we talked a little bit, but yeah. How, how's life? It was mostly a mostly art jam, but yeah. How's life? How's you? Do you want to answer that one, or are you too focused? I'm too focused. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll I will talk. For us. Uh, I'll talk. For, I'll answer for the both of us. Uh, <laughs> it's been challenging. Uh, if we weren't uh, currently like actively, fuck you, you person. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if we weren't actively uh, trying to. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> if we weren't trying to uh, solicit donations for this charity, we would be soliciting ch- donations to try to repair our car because uh, our car has uh, decided to uh, crap out uh, pretty hard this week. And so mm-hmm. it's been kind of a kind of a challenging week for us there. Uh-oh. Lost. There. Get there. out of the way, Get lady. out of the way, lady. Jesus, God. Okay. You're good. Go, go, go. There you go. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Uh, yes. Sorry. We will try to focus. We're very distracted. We're so close to cracking that, this nut. That is okay. Uh, <laughs> that is okay. But that's why... Balls yeah. Takes a lot of effort. Uh-huh. Oh, you got the cow! <laughs> Moo, yeah. motherfucker! Wait, that cow is smaller than the people? Yeah. You got some, uh, got some milk for your journey. Exactly. Milk for the journey. Yes. I got a boy. You got a boy? Get the <laughs> fuck out of the way, guy. Best boy? <laughs> Best boy. Wow, he's all right, boy. Well, he's an okay bye. He's yeah, an okay bye. bitches. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Now we can talk. How is it? Tell, tell pants about your life. How's your day? Life has been all right. Yeah, the car's being stupid right now. I had to take transit all week, which really oh. sucked. So, oh, no. yeah, that was not fun, man. You you once you drive a car and someone says, "Hey, guess what? You gotta take a bus for a week." You're just like, "Then I'm just not gonna go to work then." <laughs> it's hard to, it's hard to go back to that it's just like oh man driving listening to my own tune yeah right just enjoying the cruise it's, it's nice and then all of a sudden it's like oh oh yeah okay I'm taking I, have different... to, I have to deal <laughs> deal with people yeah it's not easy man I Thank waited you. so long for the stupid bus to come pick me up today mm-hmm. and I was like I should have just taken the train but because of the whole corona thing the yeah. uh they're not really it's an honor system right so they're just like <clears throat> we hope you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in the meantime <laughs> but you know yeah. when you're trying to save money you just kind of you know don't have know. you know yeah, you, you know. try to just kind of save you to those stamp t- your yeah t-pass. you just kind of just forget things so i was just like i'll take the i'll i'll take the train in the morning get to work and then I will take the buses home. But 45 to an hour later, I could have taken two other buses, but because I don't know that bus route very well, I didn't get home until almost five. Pissed me oh, off, man. in that time. It was yeah. crazy. I was. I was, I was up <coughs> at 2.45, and I didn't get home until five. That's ridiculous. Ugh. Ridiculous, man. Yeah. That's when you order something, and order something nice, and treat yourself. You're like, you know what? I deserve this pizza. Right? Right? Well, we did that with Chinese food last night. Yeah, right. There you go. That was the good. That was good. And we've got uh, uh, our weekend meal uh, is going to be... We bought a bunch of frozen um, dim sum sum, uh, offerings. We got some steam buns. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I... We uh, went full weaves about two years ago and I bought a uh, uh, steamer basket uh, and we used that like every single week for a while because we were uh, walking distance from a Korean and Japanese import store so lots of good Ooh. food yeah oh, but now that we've moved yeah. now we have to make active choices to go to places alright oh yeah the I feel that I feel that thing you collected most is vegetables 
Vegivadivas. Vegivergibles? Vergibles? I don't want vegables. <laughs> <laughs> and Japanese food, food and fruit. I That's wonder right. if you're hungry. <laughs> Actually, I feel a little snacky. A little bit snacky. <laughs> uh, a little bit snacky. A little, a little bit snacky. snacky. Uh, we have been going for two hours. Uh, how do people feel about us taking about a ten minute break as we just uh, reset ourselves? Uh, James, I'm asking you. <laughs> James is like, are you, sure? Are you waiting for a chat response? Well, I'm waiting I, for a... I, <laughs> for a chat response and also for you, for you to say, I mean, we only just got you in here, so I didn't. Want I know. I was gonna say, I, I just I just got here, baby. I'm ready to rumble. <laughs> you ready to rumble? Are you are you uh, okay to stick around for? Let's uh, let's maybe do of one course. more one yeah. more of these guys, and then we'll uh, we'll go. We'll take a quick intermission, and then we'll uh, make sure we keep you around for another another little bit. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we will. Uh, we're we're now planning our intermission here. <laughs> Uh, All right, we got we got a time limit. We got a time limit. Well, while this thing is playing, I'm just going to pop up our charity reminder here. Uh, we are uh, currently raising money to help uh, support the Black Lives Matter and uh, movement and the protesters in Nova's home state of Ohio. Uh, we are currently asking uh, any uh, donation you were planning to give to uh, the Retronauticon to Spitzworth.com that instead you give it to. Uh, the Columbus Freedom Fund. It is a uh, bail project uh, helping to uh, get uh, the protesters uh, just should not have been uh, arrested. Uh, we are trying to help pay their bail because, of course, the bail system is uh, weighted pretty heavily against uh, low-income people, and that uh, specifically is the uh, protesters in Columbus. He's already wearing a oh. scarf. I thought I had the. Isn't, what am I fucking doing? I I am not paying attention to things. Oh, okay. You gotta look. You gotta look fresh while you're rolling. I, I gotta look fresh while I'm rolling. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I went to the wrong thing. I pressed the wrong button. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, uh, uh, Scott. Question for you. Yes. Yes. So last time we were chatting, yeah. we were talking about good video game boy. Good, good video game boys. Yes. Yes. So I guess I guess question for both of you. Okay. Who is? Number one video game boy. Hmm. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a bunch of questions I got asked. Sorry, I was just doing that, but I will definitely play around. I haven't played one yet in a yeah. while. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's ask some qualifying questions first. Sure. Uh, what? Uh, what kind of video game? Are we talking about just like any video game at all, or are we talking like uh, RPGs where like a character is like fully fleshed out? Let's say RPG. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. RPG, fully fleshed out character. Uh, would it be? Are we discounting the protagonists since they're usually a blank slate, and we're only talking about like uh, characters that you would normally interact with, or should we include? Uh, the playable characters since they're often like developed now especially in ones where you don't like the, the ones that don't have like create a character so like you're, you are playing as Leon Kennedy but not as ones where it's like a blank slate where you're doing your own character alright here's my caveat for that if okay. you have a good one okay. that's a ticket but also if you have like, one that a character that's already been designed then pick that one too Okay. Be like a first and second choice sure uh, hmm. uh, do you have one like in mind? Like, have I? Because you you've obviously put more thought into this than because you've just kind of blindsided us. <laughs> so I wanted I wanted the, the super raw answers, the real truth, the, the on the spot, the on the spot answers. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for the on the spot answers, it's always bullshit when somebody's like. Let me think about it. So, uh, so just like immediate gut feeling, okay, fair, fair. Uh, immediate gut feeling, good, good video game boy, like the best boy, my best boy. I would want to date this person if I was not uh, in love with my wonderful fiance Nova, and also seeing Elijah on the side. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, wow. I know it's it's all coming coming out now. Uh, it's Pride <laughs> Month, man. You gotta you gotta roll with it. <laughs> um uh shit 
Ryuji from Persona I was Five. Say, you Ryuji, roll I, for you. I, I I love Ryuji. Um, I Good did. Lad. Oh, uh, f- uh, uh, prom- Prompto from Final Fantasy Fifteen. That the, okay. the that's the blonde guy. Sounds like a trend now. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I like I like twinky blonde boys. Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> I've got a type. Um. I mean, like, Prompto at the beginning, I'm like, ah, oh, this fucking douchebag. And then that one, once I got through the end of his storyline, I'm just like, okay, I love you and I feel so bad for you. I'm so sorry. Uh, and it's yeah. the same. it was the same thing with Ryuji. I'm like, ah, oh, this fucking asshole is going to be on my team. And then once you got his backstory, it's like, a teacher broke your knee? What the fuck? And then I'm like, I, I, will, I will protect you. I love you. Just let me That's smooch not- Ryuji. Um, Let me kiss him. <laughs> exactly, uh, but like, really breaking the mo- mold. Link. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no! I do have a type. Specifically, so <laughs> no, it's be whatever you want. Well, Link is is a Twinkie blonde voice more moreover than whatever I want, and so I do have I do have a type. Yeah. <laughs> um, par for the uh, par for the course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think Link, if we're talking about playable characters, just because no matter what uh, iteration of him, he's always just kind of cool. He's just pretty rad. Yeah. What about you, Nuva? Yeah. Best, best video game boys. Besides the prince, obviously. I don't really play enough <laughs> RPG games to say. Uh, what about... Uh, I know who your best uh, best video game boy is, but like not in a romantic way. Who? Linus. Oh yeah, well yeah, Linus from Stardew Valley is pretty great. Like but, and the wizard, those two are my fr- like favorite dudes, just because they're so cool. Like Linus is like a homeless caveman guy that lives in a tent behind one of the other characters in the game, and he's just so sweet because he's like, at one point your relationship, like your friendship level, grows with him, and he's like, talking to you, and he's, he has, he's like asking questions and saying how much he loves being just on his own and no you know not really worrying about people taking care of him cuz he just likes being himself and he it, you have the option to be like oh hey you know you could just come move on to my land but if you don't invite him to move to move, to like live on your farm he is so happy to know that you just understand him right and the wizard's just mysterious and cool. And I like <laughs> mysterious, cool people, so... Which blows my mind that you like me at all, because I'm just like, Let me tell you everything about Barbie! <laughs> Here's some trauma! You deal with it! <laughs> <laughs> our, our, our specifics in dudes is different, though. Oh, for you sure. You like Twinkie Blonde Boys, you where I like... like big, strong Big, manly. strong dudes with beards and dark hair. Yeah. And I have a type, and I like them tall... But yeah. like I have my type, and but girls we agree on. We mostly agree on it, mostly because it's like, uh, uh, if for me I, uh, my I I'm sure I told you about we've talked about this before, uh, uh, pants. But um, uh, I my uh, interest in women, uh, like in, during my formulative years, I watched the. Uh, uh, 95 uh, live action uh, Tank Girl movie yes, and that, yes, that, that. Yeah, yeah that informed my uh, uh, my my type and so basically all I, all I ever wanted was a uh, uh, punk girl with good hygiene and now I got one <laughs> so, <laughs> that's driving a, a heavily armed uh, vehicle capable of destruction yes and yes. Uh, also important. you know I could turn the rav into a tank if I needed to. Yes. <laughs> could you imagine? Yeah. I mean, not currently. We gotta fix it first. Yeah. <laughs> but that—that that was. That's always kind of a subplot in the tank girl things. It's just like right. the whenever the tank can't be like whenever they need the tank not to be working, the tank suddenly doesn't work. It's a very like. Yeah. It, it's very lazy writing, but it for some reason works in Tank Girl. It's like, oh no, something's broke on the tank, so we had to take this Mini Cooper into town. So now I don't have the tank that would obviously solve the problem in this issue, so. Um, 
But yeah, that's. Uh, what about you? What's a good boy while uh, while Nova thinks of oh fuck you bear? <laughs> uh, while Nova thinks of uh, the best boy for, I mean, you 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 say you uh, hold on wait I gotta I gotta actually uh, bring something to light here. Nova says they like big strong manly man big old beardos. Uh, I mean that's kind of like uh, the one dude from. Uh, ooh, uh, Gladios? I think so, yeah. yeah. It's been yeah. a hot minute since I played it. But no, she liked the, the British cooking boy. I come up with a new recipe. Recipe. Right yeah. Yes. I can't remember I can't remember any of these guys' names. I just remember Prompto and Noctis. And I'm pretty sure uh, Gladius was the other guy. Ignis? Ignis, Ignis yeah. yes. Uh, yeah. But no, uh, your, uh... Kamala's best boy from anime is Trunks from the future from Dragon Ball. Ooh. Yep, Trunks, yes. baby. <laughs> so, so that's, a, that's a good boy. That is a good that boy. Is, that is a good boy. Yeah. Uh, we need we need Elijah here so he can say "good boy" in a in a uh, 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 Boston accent for us. <laughs> that's a good boy. <laughs> Actually, um. Uh, what's it? Trunks kind of reminds me of uh, a different question. Okay, you're just gonna skip what what, a, what your uh, what your man crush all. is. No, okay. Oh, oh, it's, it's um, uh, Kanji Tatsumi from Persona Four. We are going to be playing Persona Four uh, next uh, next Friday, so you're gonna have to come and uh, talk to us oh, while man. we do that one. Then I'm not, I'm not even gonna delve into it because I don't want to spoil it for you. All right. He's a good boy. He's yeah. a good boy. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, does he fit uh, my Twinkie Blonde uh, requirements? Oh, I'm going to say yes. Oh, <laughs> so I'm going to fall in love immediately. Huh? <laughs> I hope so. I hope we, uh, I hope we share uh, a boy. <laughs> so, share a boy. So, I hope we share a boy. Look, we're not... Look, Scud, we're not friends. Unless you and I agree, we would fuck that boy. <laughs> Uh, edgelord in any Oof. movie game show you're, I think you are talking about edgelords earlier I was yeah <laughs> uh, because I had I did the star where I had to make cancer and I decided that that super easy joke was the one I wanted to make um, so I did mention being an edgelord uh, but what is the edgelord an edgelord that I actually like doesn't like annoy me basically right yeah, or you're just like, oh, he's so cool. Oh god. Uh, fuck. Uh, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I know what the, I know. I know what the answer is for me, and it it's it's so plebe. <laughs> so it's like, uh, it's Dante from Devil May Cry. Oh, like it's yeah, it's good like edgelord. it's so it's such an obvious one. It's like the fact whenever I talk about playing uh, Street Fighter and I'm like, I main Ryu. It's like, ugh, I feel terrible that I have to say that, but it's like, the thing is, it's true. I know I'm so basic. That is the most basic Edge Lord I could I could have picked. Um, I think I think I have two. Okay, go. Yeah. On. Um, so I was always a big fan when I was a younger, a younger lad of. Uh, Nightmare from Soul Calibur. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Tortured soul just behind this thick black armor with a giant meaty sword. He's like, souls, come unto me. <laughs> oh yeah, let's, let's let's beat him up. Let's get him. <laughs> that, that's um, one. The second one from a more recent title. Uh, possible minor spoiler, I'm getting it. But, uh, uh, Dimitri from uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Pretty edgy. I have not played a Fire Emblem game since, uh, what was the one from GameCube? Oh, with Ike. Uh, yeah. Path of Radiance. Path of Radiance, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, that was the last one that, <laughs> ah, rotate, pivot, <laughs> pivot, <laughs> Yeah, what's your edgy edge boy? I don't know. 
You don't know? I don't play a lot okay, of well, those let, RPGs. Okay, well, let's do, let's, do, uh, let's do anime for you, just because we know that you have... Because uh, you're going to say Sasuke. No. <laughs> no. Totally, yeah. I mean, Sasuke is pretty edgelordy, for sure. But it, you, you uh, don't care about him. No. Yeah. Don't care. Uh, I mean, like, all I ever watch is um, so shoujo anime. But I guess it'd be Kyo from Fruits Basket. He's pretty... Ed- no, actually, the doctor from Fruits Basket. I cannot remember his name, but he's pretty edgelordy. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know. I guess I just don't see any characters that way. I you mean, know, if I don't like... You them, look past the I edgelord. Pa- I look past that edgelordness. And I'm, just kinda I'm going, sorry. I don't see edginess. <laughs> I don't see the edginess. <laughs> I'm too busy fantasizing about marrying one of the characters, so... Yeah. To even like bother thinking about anything else. I'm like, you, sir, you will be mine. <laughs> did I tell you that I actually drew one of the characters on my wall once? Yes, you did, but yeah. you should tell that story. I had, when I was still living with my parents, which was when I was probably. Very young. Well, Younger. no, because I lived with my mom for a while. Oh, did I do it? Yeah. Oh, you, sweet, I did. You did it. Good job. High five. Uh, anyways, I got one of those like super crappy. Um, pro- projector screens so all yep. it was was just like a light box basically and you just put the picture underneath and then it projected onto the screen which it was really dangerous because it got super hot so when you put paper under there you had to be fast because <laughs> oh, it yeah, got yeah. hot I was so scared that I was going to burn down may or may house. not light on fire yeah it was, it was risking it was taking some chances there and uh, there's a, a manga series called uh, Alice 19th and there's a character in there named Keo, <laughs> and he's super dreamy. <laughs> and I was like, I really, my mom was like, yeah, you can do whatever you want to the wall because we'll just paint over it later. So I was like, sweet. So I put the manga book underneath and I drew, penciled, like sketched him onto my wall. And it was awesome. And yeah, because <laughs> I didn't have a lot of boy band pictures or anything. I had, okay, that's not true. I had Backstreet Boys for a little while. But I only left it up for probably like two weeks, and then it got creepy because I got I couldn't take them staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I love the Backstreet Boys, I was just like, "You're watching me do everything, and I don't like this. So I'm taking this, this is a down. Little much. This is a little much. But if it's anime, I didn't care because it was a cartoon. It didn't bother me. But this is like, this are real people it wasn't doing real human eyes. Yeah, those are creeping me out. I can't do it, man. Just could not do it. I just I was never one of those girls that had posters and should have no. like boys and I mean don't get me wrong I had like I yeah. actually well there was a website no word of a lie I believe when we had moved up to Canada it was I, that's I think when we were actually doing it or before I can't remember anyways there was a website that was actually dedicated to uh, guys between the ages of I believe 16 to like 20 and they could they're like models or like up and coming uh, actors or something so this was their way to like get some publicity so what they would do is they would hire these young boys on and they would have like profiles and they could talk to the girls so it was just like a weird like early not really dating I don't know how you would say it but like you could I don't care like what a saying. fantasy yeah thing. but you, these were real dudes and they actually had like real profiles and you could go on and you could like uh, like their profiles or you can check send them, them message. Yeah, check them out, send them messages. But it was like between 16 and 20. And I mean like it was weird because I was like really into it because it was super fun because I was just like, it's kind of like I guess Tinder for like very young children. <laughs> for so teenagers. Like non- so then you could just like, you're swiping but you're not really swiping because you're just clicking on things. So you like, they had like the top 10 hottest dudes. So then you see like the top 10 hot guys. And then like you'd see over here like the most compassion or the most romantic. Like it was ridiculous how they were like putting these guys into categories and these like all of us girls were like making these goofy profiles and we're just like swooning over all these dudes. But I like remember it very much and I remember having a lot of fun for like a week and then, and then I was just being like, like I'm done I, yeah I'm yeah. done I think I'm good <laughs> I think I'm I think I've have got other better things to do than just to swoon over dudes alright uh, guys we are going to take a quick intermission yes. uh, pants will oh. you stick around here I don't think there's anybody else uh, waiting to jump in and chat with us right now so do you want to uh, sure. just hang out I can, I can hang out for a bit 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna move you back into the waiting room here uh, while we uh, uh, while we do the um, do our intermission. Uh, so, oh, uh, before I do that, uh, will you just do me the honor and say Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter. Woo! Hell yes, they do. All right. Um, all right, and for those of us, uh, those of you watching here, um, we are currently um, doing a uh, donation here. Uh, we are working on uh, uh, raising money for uh, to support the Black Lives Matter movement uh, and the protesters in Nova's home state of Ohio. I know this is an odd uh, thing for us to do our first time in the Retro Nomicon, but we thought it was important. Um, if you uh, have some extra money, if you're planning on donating to us uh, now or in the upcoming future, uh, we just ask that rather than sending the money to us, you send it to uh, our um, uh, charity of choice right now. It is the uh, Columbus Freedom Fund. They are a bail program. They are uh, helping to uh, pay the bail of the protesters that have been uh, arrested in Ohio during these demonstrations. So if you can, if you have the money, please donate it. We ourselves have donated already, uh, and we just don't think that uh, right now they need your money, money more than us. You can support us in other ways. There are plenty of ways to support Black Lives Matter and all the protests happening around the world. So uh, we would appreciate that. Uh, the link is in the uh, uh, feed here. Uh, if you type the uh, exclamation point charity, it will bring the link. Uh, it is a PayPal link. It is uh, going to the uh, Columbus Freedom Fund. Uh, I said this at the beginning of our show. We've checked it. We made sure that it was the legitimate link. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, of course, always do your own research. Find something that you know speaks to you. Uh, the most when you're, you know, going to donate to charity. Make sure it's something that you know, that you understand, that you feel comfortable donating to. Uh, but, you know, if you uh, are, if you have that extra money, if you're going to pay us anyways, this is where we would like to see the money go to right now. So uh, if you want to pay us, instead pay them. And that was a little rambly, but I'm emotional about it. We are going to take about a 10-15 uh, minute break. Uh, we will be right back, I promise.